Hello, friends. So, uh, we're back with another Ipsy, because it's been a while. Hello. Hi. Um, yeah. How have you been? I've been good. I've been teaching kindergarten. So much fun. I love it. Going to uh, the Jonas Brothers tomorrow. So, so excited. I got to see them in the 2008 World Tour. So it's literally been 11 years since I've seen the Jones Brothers. So I'm so excited. I'm going with my cousin. Last time I went with my mom because I was in like fourth grade. And yeah. So I'm really, really happy. I'm really excited. Yeah. Okay. So this is what the bag looks like. I personally love, love, love constellations. And I plan on naming... Ooh, a crystal. Look at that pretty crystal. Plan on naming my son, hopefully one day, um, after a constellation. So, yeah, love it. This one says, find your light. Find your night light. Light. Hide. Something. September is all about new paths and possibilities. So whether it's going all out with a new... Bold lip shade or masking at home to recharge from within. Take a moment to rediscover your guiding north star. Will will it lead you? Hashtag discover yourself. So it's really pretty. That's what I've got. So let's see. Ooh, this is a pretty big compact. Com compact. Compact. Ooh. She's pretty hard to open. Look, I'm trying something new with my hair. That's unheard of. Ooh, this is pretty cool. This is from Madison Miller Highlighter in Moon Dance. So that's pretty. Ooh, ooh. what? Oh, ho, 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 ho. I might need to work you into my routine. Yes, thank you, Erickson. Finally happy with the highlighter for once. Usually I'm like, another highlighter. If you haven't seen one of my videos before. Oof. This, I got Gimme Brow in Neutral Deep Brown 4.5. This is for a really tiny first of all, it seems. But, um, I think this might be too dark. So tiny, what are you doing? <laughs> so cute! Okay, let's see. Oh, um, maybe not. That's the color that it is. Next to that blinding highlight. Um, I don't know. I'll try it one day. Let's see. What is this? What is this? I like the bubble wrap, though. I'm just gonna... Okay. This is from L.A. or La Butte Fatal Matte Liquid Lipstick. Oh, are you a clicky pen? Yeah, you a clicky pen. We might be here a moment. Nope. I haven't had one of these since like ninth grade. And that was an elf one. I think I wore it for prom. Bought it for prom. I know, like, as soon as I'm like, oh, that's good. Like, as soon as... <gasps> Woo! Okay, I guess, um... But I don't want to waste this product, so... Try on! Alright. Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, oh god. Are you seeing that? That was my phone. 
Are you seeing that though? Like, gross. I hate it. I don't hate the color. I think that um, this is obviously way too much and it could just be, oh, ooh, it's globby. Very, very globby. Hate. Um, oh, oh, I hate that. Uh, one second. All right, well, um, this is how much lipstick. <laughs> I pulled off and there's still some on my lips. So that was not a good first try on. <laughs> Maybe I'll get better later, but um, no, not right now. Ooh, so I have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. Ooh, comes with a little plastic thingy on top. How do I get you off? Smells like watermelon. Oh, I still have a <laughs> yucky. Oh, I have foundation on. I guess I can't. But um, I'll touch it. Feels like silky. Kind of like um, and then it gets rubbed into the skin, so it doesn't always feel silky. Like I'll rub it and not feel silky on top. Nice. I love this packaging. It reminds me of the Kylie skincare packaging. That pink. And lastly, I have Musha Boom Pressed Powder or Pressed Eyeshadow Phase Zero Makeup. Hmm. A little packaging like that. Ooh, double packaging. They didn't want it to break. Mushroom pressed eyeshadow. How? Do I push it in? That'd be cool. Ow. To be honest. Ow. Ouch. Ooh, a mirror though. How nice. Another brown. I feel like I've been doing, just been getting browns. Feels creamy. Ooh, is it a metallic? So that's that. This is the high, well, brow highlighter and then the eyeshadow. So that's pretty. Oh yeah, non, non cut, nonchalantly showing my engagement ring off. Yeah. Ooh, update on that. We got the engagement photos booked for June 12th for the company that I don't think is going to be very good. Like, Okay, here's the story on the engagement photos. So, first, I emailed them, like, September 1st, like, hey, my name's Alyssa, like, I want engagement photos done, like, April, May, do you have any time open? They're like, yeah, we, okay, on, like, September 5th, they emailed back, yeah, we do, uh, what's the best number to call you at? And so, the next day on September 6th, I emailed them, and they literally called, like, September 10th. Like, isn't that, like, unprofessional? Like, I think it's pretty unprofessional. And we, like, heavy. Ow. And then, like, they said, so we put $200 down towards our pictures. And then they gave us the day of June 10th, and we'll meet beforehand, discuss any outfits and, like, what kind of photos we want and locations. And so we have a meeting before that, and then they said that we'll send you a packet to, like, say like packages and stuff and I have yet to have gotten that email and today is September 15th so I just I feel like this is very pretty unprofessional like making us wait that long and it's not just one person it's a company well not just like a big company but like at a home a hometown company where they have like a receptionist and a secretary so I feel like it's unprofessional and 
I had honestly just emailed them because I wanted to like see like the packages and the price that we want because this is an unlimited budget wedding and my fiance just like put two dollars down right away so that's what we're doing um but yeah I'll update you more it's whatever I got these new scrunchies I got um it was a box lunch three pack of a black one and a red one that are like velvet and then a silky mickey mouse one super super cute so yeah okay so that was what was in my Etsy. uh comment down below what was in yours i'm always curious and another thing about ipsy is that they are hiking their prices up to 12.50 because they want more uh companies or something i don't really understand that and i feel like i don't know it's just like, did I really want any of these? No, I didn't. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. Tell me how you feel about that down below, too. And I'll see you in the next video. So, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.